A cube is 3.5 inches on each side. Determine the volume. A cube is a rectangular solid whose length, width, and height are equal, which means each of the six faces is a square as pictured here. The volume is equal to the number of cubic units that will fit inside the cube. The volume is given by the formula V equals S cubed, where V is the volume and S is the length of each side. This volume formula is the same volume formula we used to determine the volume of a rectangular prism given by the formula V equals length times width times height, but because the length, width, and height are all the same, we replace these variables with S, the length of each side, giving us the volume V equals S times S times S, or as given here, the volume V equals S cubed. For our problem, we are given the cube is 3.5 inches on each side, which means this length is 3.5 inches, this length is 3.5 inches, and this length is also 3.5 inches, which means the volume V is equal to the cube of 3.5 inches, or 3.5 inches raised to the third power. Notice how here, I did leave the units in the length of the side. This emphasizes the units of the volume is going to be inches cubed. But many times, the units are left off until the very end. So let's write this again as the volume V equals 3.5 raised to the third power, or 3.5 cubed, which is equal to three factors of 3.5, giving us the volume V equals 3.5 times 3.5 times 3.5. To determine the volume, we now multiply from left to right. Let's first determine 3.5 times 3.5. Before multiplying, notice how the first factor has one decimal place. The second factor also has one decimal place. Because one plus one is equal to two, the product must contain two decimal places. We first multiply by five. Five times five is 25. Record the five perform an exchange with the two. Next we have five times three plus two, which is 15 plus two, which equals 17. Before multiplying by the three, we record a zero below the five in the rightmost place value. Multiplying by three, we have three times five, which is 15. Record the five, perform an exchange with the one. Next we have three times three plus one, which is nine plus one, which equals 10. Now we add. 5 plus 0 is 5, 7 plus 5 is 12, record the 2, form an exchange, 1 plus 1 is 2, and we have a 1. Again, the product must contain two decimal places. Starting to the right of the 5, we move the decimal two places to the left, 1, 2, giving us a product of 12.25. Now we know the volume V is equal to 12.25 times 3.5. And now let's determine this product. Notice how the first factor has two decimal places. The second factor has one decimal place. Two plus one is equal to three. The product must contain three decimal places. Multiplying by five, five times five is 25. Record the five, perform an exchange with the two. Next we have five times two plus two, which is 10 plus two, which equals 12. Record the two, perform an exchange. Next we have five times two plus one, which is 11. Record the one, perform an exchange. And then we have five times one plus one, which is six. Before multiplying by the three, we record a zero in the rightmost place value below the five. Multiplying by three, three times five is 15. Record the five, perform an exchange. Next we have three times two plus one, which is seven. Next we have three times two, which is six. And finally we have three times one, which is three. Now we add. 5 plus 0 is 5, 2 plus 5 is 7, 1 plus 7 is 8, 6 plus 6 is 12, record the 2, perform an exchange, 1 plus 3 is 4. Starting to the right of the 5, move the decimal three places to the left, 1, 2, 3, giving us a product of 42.875, which is the volume. We now know the volume V equals 42.875 cubic inches.
which means 42 and 875 thousandths cubic inches will fit inside the given cube. Let's also write the result as a complete sentence. The volume of the cube is 42.875 cubic inches. I hope you found this helpful.